Hey everybody, my name is Alex and this is video number three for our ultimate space mesh setup. So in this one, we are going to be installing node exporter, which will be a service on our main host. Scroll down a little bit here. Then we're going to be installing Cadvisor, which is going to be a container for Docker. And this helps us monitor our containers. And node exporter actually helps monitor, monitor the host. So this one should be pretty easy. Um, it's just two things we're setting up here. The first thing we're going to do is get node exporter going. And again, like always, I'm basically just following the official documentation. But I've put all the commands in the article. So first thing we're going to do is download node exporter. We're going to extract it. And then we're going to just copy one file. So we there's there's like a notice and there's a license, but all we really care about is this node exporter. So we're going to copy that to user local bin because that's where it's going to live. And then we're going to create a user for our service to run this. And this is like a system user. There's no home directory. It's not going to have shell access. Uh, we just are creating this for our service to run. And then we're providing that user ownership of where we put node export, so the node exporter executable, so that it can run it as a service. And then we're just going to do a little bit of cleanup here. We don't need uh, the directory, and we don't need that uh, tar file that we downloaded. So let's just go ahead and remove that. And if we do ls, we can see there's nothing in this directory. And now we're going to create a file called node exporter.service, and that's going to be in our services directory. And this is going to be a copy paste. Basically, I'm not going to get too deep into services. There's a lot of really good uh, videos online on what all of this means, but basically, we're setting up a node exporter service. It's going to run the node exporter executable. Our user is going to be that node exporter user we just recently set up. So control X, Y, enter for that. And then we just need to reload the daemon. And then we need to start that service. So systemctl start node exporter. And we want to see the status. Like let's just make sure that it's running. So we can change start to status we can see yes it's running so we're good but we need to do one thing we need to enable it so if we go back to status we see it says disabled that means it's not going to start when I reboot my computer so if we do systemctl enable and then go back to status, we can see now it is enabled. So when I restart my computer, it's going to start automatically. Okay, so we have node exporter actually running as a service in the background right now, reporting metrics on our host. But we need to go and update that YAML file again that we created earlier. So we only had one job, now we're gonna add a second job and just like the initial one, uh, we haven't actually set up this container yet. We're just pre-specifying. We know that it's going to be port 9100, and we're going to set it as the, th this IP address is a little bit different because it's not the IP range that we specified for our uh, Docker SpaceNet network. And that's because this is running as a service on our host. So we need from Docker's, uh, from Prometheus's perspective, which is a Docker container, we need it to reach out to our main host on 9100. Typically you would use like localhost, something like that. But Docker doesn't know what localhost is um, because it's running its own network and it has its own network. Uh, so we need to specify the actual gateway for the Docker network. And just uh, to show you where I'm getting this from, let's go back to Portainer and let's go to networks. And we see our SpaceNet network and we can see the IP uh, subnet and the gateway. 
but we also have a bridge that's set up by the system, Docker itself, and we can see that the gateway is 172.17.0.1. So if we want to access services on our main host, we would use this gateway here. So you can see, again, 172.17.0.1, and we're specifying 172.17.0.1, and then the port that node exporter runs on. All right, so we've updated this, prometheus.yaml, uh, and we'll do control X, Y, enter. And then let's go back to Prometheus. And we can see right now, nothing's changed. We're still, we just have the, as soon as it refreshes. Uh, we just have the Prometheus one. So in order to make the changes effective with our Prometheus YAML file, we need to go into Portainer, go to Containers, click Prometheus, and then restart. That way it'll reload the config file. And this does take a couple of seconds for Prometheus to start up and start querying or getting the queries from the different places it gets metrics from. So let's refresh it. We should see a new entry immediately. We do, node, and we actually already have access to it. So state is up. So we're getting metrics from our node exporter service and we can see the endpoint listed here and that's the one that we specified in the prometheus.yaml and we are good to go for node exporter so that one was pretty uh, pretty easy again everything's in the substack article uh, and then we're going to install cadvisor so this one actually is a um, is a container. So everything that we do is basically going to be in Portainer. So let's just follow along here. We need to go into our stack and click the editor. So if we go to stacks, we go into Zulu stack that we created earlier, we click editor. The first thing we're going to want to do is set a dependency. So we're gonna copy this depends on, and we're gonna say that Prometheus, this uh, Docker container here, depends on it. So make sure you go all the way to the left here and just control V, paste that in. And now we have the depends on Cadvisor. YAML files are very sensitive to spaces. So you always want to make sure the first indent is two, then the next indent is four, and then the next one is six. So you always just want to do uh, the right indentation. So if this doesn't look right, uh, which we actually should move that over just slightly. I wonder if it's like that in the there we go. Um, that that works a little bit better. So we're saying that this depends on Cadvisor because Cadvisor is going to be uh, sending metrics to Prometheus. So we want Prometheus to load after Cadvisor does. This isn't like it probably will work fine without it, but just for uh, you know best practices, we're going to keep that in there, and then we're going to add a Cadvisor Docker image here so again all the way to the left and then we'll paste that in and we can see actually it looks like maybe the dash the double spaces doesn't matter here because in all of these it's not there but I'm gonna put them there just because I want it to look nice and that way uh, actually you'll get a syntax error so it probably was fine because we can see right now it's saying it's it just have to be uniform with everything. So if they all have two spaces and none of them have two spaces, seem to be working fine. So what's happening here? We're setting up a Cadvisor image uh, or Docker container. We're downloading the latest image for Cadvisor. We're going to call it Cadvisor. We're forwarding ports 8080. We're doing a bunch of bind mounts, and this is just to get the metrics that it needs. And then we are assigning it to the SpaceNet network and we're giving it an IP address of 99 so one below what we did for Prometheus and then if we jump back into here we're going to like before update our Prometheus.yaml we haven't actually put the target in yet so let's go ahead and add that and again we're just using the IP address that we assigned earlier uh, 99 versus 100 up here and port 8080 is the one we forwarded and because this is a container we can actually just use the SpaceNet gateway that we set up.
So control X, Y, enter. And again, because we updated the Prometheus.yaml, we need to go in and let me share uh, this. So actually what we didn't do and um, what we should have done is actually deploy this. So we're going to update the stack. You don't have to repull the images. Give it a second here. We can see it is starting. So let's go over to containers. It's starting. And while we're doing that, we can actually restart Prometheus. So what I was saying before is because we updated the YAML file, we need to restart Prometheus. And then we can go into Prometheus and we can click refresh. And we can see now we have Cadvisor, but none of these are up yet. And that's because we just restarted the service. So if we give it a couple seconds here and then we click refresh. Okay, so Prometheus is up. Give it a couple more seconds. All right, everything is up. So we are getting metrics for our containers. We're getting metrics for our host. And Prometheus is up collecting those metrics. So we haven't actually seen any metrics yet, though. We've basically just been laying the foundation and the groundwork in order to get those metrics into a dashboard. And that dashboard is going to be Grafana. So we've finished up video number three. In the next video, we are going to go over Grafana. And that is going to be where we can finally start seeing metrics on uh, our host and containers. So I will see you in the next video.